Lord, I'm so happy to be able to share from the word of the Lord once again with the SV family. Uh, the verse which we are going to be looking at today is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Now, without understanding, we can do nothing. Uh, even if we need to speak a language, if we need to write uh, an article or even make a video like this or watch a video for everything, we need wisdom or we need understanding. But the Lord says, lean not on your own understanding. So what does that mean? It means that it's not that we should not use our understanding or we should not use our wisdom to do things because without that we can do nothing, but it, is, it means that in all of those places for which the Lord has given us instructions, instead of using our reason, it's better for us that we directly obey whatever the Lord has told us, told us to do. So uh, let me give you an example from the Garden of Eden. So when God made, uh, created the heaven and earth and he made this into a very beautiful garden of uh, Eden and he placed Adam and Eve in the garden and he instructed them, that you can eat of any tree, uh, any fruit uh, in the garden, except for the one in the center. And now we do not know for what reason, but Eve was circling around that tree, which the Lord had forbidden. Probably she might be telling, telling herself, okay, well, the Lord has said not to eat of this fruit, but I can smell of its fruit. I, but, I, but maybe I can smell the fruit. Or maybe I can uh, sit in its shade, you know, that's not sin. Like uh, one day I, uh, a friend of mine told me, that Anand, why don't you skip uh, one day church? And I was like, uh, I really am not comfortable doing that. And then, then uh, my friend told, you know, if you skip one day church, you're not going to, you're not going to land up in hell, you know. So uh, that is the type of attitude many times that we have when we near sin, and uh, which actually leads us to falling into sin. So here we see uh, Eve and then we see the serpent comes near Eve and says, like, has the Lord... Uh, asked you not to eat of any fruit in the garden. And she says, no, 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 the Lord has not asked us to eat just of this plant, this fruit, uh, this tree, and we can otherwise eat of the other fruits in the, in the garden. And so the serpent says, <clears throat> that why is it so? And uh, Eve explains that the Lord has said that the day you eat of this fruit, you're going to die. And then the devil says, no, 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 wait. The day you're going to eat of this fruit, you're not going to die, but rather you're going to become like God. Now, at this point of time, Eve had the choice whether if she was going to trust in what the Lord had told her or if she was going to trust what the serpent was telling her. Uh, here, at times we think that eating the fruit was just a small thing, but it was certainly not a small thing because here Eve was taking the trust which she had in God in her creator and placing that trust on the deceiver, on the devil, on the Satan. So many a times in our lives, when we read the word of God, it is very clear that this is what the Lord wants you to do. And uh, when we turn our ears to our friends or maybe the, to the world or maybe uh, we look at movies or other things uh, or we use our own understanding, our own reason, and that tells us a different story. And now it is up to us whom we are going to be trusting. If we are going to trust what the Lord has instructed us, or if we are going to trust our own reason, or our own friends, or the world around us, or the knowledge which we have gathered through the years. Uh, that is why this verse comes uh, into play. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Only when you trust the Lord are you going to obey him. And uh, many a times, what we foolishly do is, instead of trusting God with his eternal wisdom, we trust in our uh, faint or newborn wisdom, which is just maybe, you know, maybe uh, 30 years old, or maybe 50 years old, or maybe 60 years old, whereas God's wisdom is everlasting. So, um, <clears throat> it is wise that if we can trust in the Lord and uh, lean not on our own understanding, but rather obey whatever he tells us. Uh, like, and if, on the other hand, when we look at uh, Noah, so Noah, or Noah was instructed to build a boat uh, or build an ark wherein as the world was going to be destroyed by rain. And, and uh, there had been no rain till the time. 
till that time. So when Noah must have begun building the ark, you, you can just imagine how people might have been mocking him or making fun of him, saying, we have not even heard of what rain is, and you're, and you're talking about a flood which is going to come and cover the entire earth. You know, so, but despite that, Noah chose to to, to trust in what the Lord had told him and, and Noah chose to ignore his own reason or what the people around him were telling him. And, uh, and at the end when we see uh, Adam and Eve, Eve chose to trust the serpent and she was cast out of the garden and uh, since then death entered mankind. On the other end, we see Noah who trusted the Lord uh, over his own reason, over uh, over the people around him, and what we see is uh, he alone and his family were saved. Uh, I would advise you today that when we read the Word of God, let's not reason, let's just obey, because uh, when we obey, we are actually trusting that whatever the Lord has written in His Word is right and it's true and. Uh, it is beneficial for me ultimately. And when we choose to disobey the word of the Lord, what, what we're actually telling the Lord is, Lord, you're not trustworthy. So uh, unknowingly or knowingly, when we disobey the Lord, we actually uh, are, uh, are uh, telling the Lord that, Lord, I'm more wise than you are. You know, like you don't understand my situation that I'm going through. And, uh, that's, and in this situation, I cannot obey whatever you have uh, asked me to obey. And so... Uh, let's not do like that, but rather let us, uh, let us trust in the Lord and let us show that we trust the Lord by obeying him completely. And once you submit yourself or surrender yourself to completely obeying the Lord, let me tell you one thing, the devil cannot defeat you. The devil cannot deceive you because you cannot see through the plan of the devil, but the Lord can and that's the reason he has given you the instructions so that you could save yourself from much bigger danger. But many a times, what do we do? We trust in our own understanding. We reject the word of the Lord. We, we turn back from him. And once we get stuck in a problem, and then we, we begin blaming the Lord. If there is God, then why am I stuck in this problem? But what we don't realize is, had we obeyed the Lord, we should have protected ourselves from the problem that we are in. Thank you and God bless you.